our table. I hope y'all are doing well today. Um, let's see. I had some questions about Ron and Matt. Are they connected in some way? I had con uh, some questions about, you know, the virus and how much longer and all of that. Um, so, let's see. Shall we? Okay, let's see. We are going to do the virus first, okay? Well, so what can you tell me about the virus? 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 How much longer? What's going to happen? Okay. Mm -hmm. Again, the virus is coming through as a woman to me. Okay, what I'm getting is it's going to get worse. There's something's going to happen. It's like um, two new variants that really cause problems. Now, I want to stop here because Miriam had said to me, that if the people did the right thing, it could be gone January 2022. Um, I'm getting it may be 2023. There is something being stretched out, um, lingering, sort of speak. And it may be different variants. There's just always going to be. But for the most part, it will become safe. So, remembering what Miriam told me, I'm going to repeat that if the people do the right thing, everybody gets vaccinated like they should, January 2022. If not, it may be 2023, but there will always be some, but enough people will continue and be vaccinated to where you don't have to worry about shutting down the country. Where right now, and even in 2022, we may have that concern because it looks like to me this vir uh, virus is always going to be with us, maybe in a lesser form, but always there. I don't know what else to tell you. Now, as far as when we start to feel better about things, I want to read on that separate because in these cards, I didn't get enough because the virus is all in there and everything. So, when will we start feeling better? Gotcha. When will we start feeling better? And she wants me to use these. 
and so I shall. Um, when, when will we as a nation start to feel better? When will we, will we, as a nation, begin to feel better? When will we, as a nation, begin to feel better? I hate when things aren't exactly straight. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, it doesn't matter. Oh, by the way, somebody kept saying these are Lenormand. They are not Lenormand cards. They are made by Lenormand. Gypsy Witch. They're not Lenormand cards, so don't, don't send me messages telling me get books about how to read a Lenormand. Because I don't read the way people read anyway. And that will only make me mad. It actually did make me mad. Because I have said on here from day one, I do not read like other people read. I do not read by the meaning of any cards. I read by what I feel. These are not Lenormand. They are Gypsy Witch Oracle cards. They are made by Lenormand. There's a difference. Anyway. These do take me a little longer because along with just having the regular playing cards, which is so easy for me because that's what I, these have pictures and other messages in them that are distracting actually for me. So it takes me longer. I like reading because I think the reading is expanded. It's just that it takes me longer because first of all, I'm very visual. I'm very, 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 very visual. So when I have pictures, uh, that leaps out to me also. But I think it's great for, because it takes the combination of both things. You have a picture and plus you have the cards and then what you get a feeling from that. So I'm just saying that it takes me longer because of the distraction and there's two things going on and I'm trying to get the feeling of merging them together to tell the story. I hope that explains that. Okay, so what I'm getting is um, there may be a woman that steps up. I, I got a feeling that's um, Kamala. Um, our vice president. I think she's going to be president. Um, somebody asked me if Biden would run again. Now, see, this is what happens. This is great, though, because when I read something, then I have another question about something else. So I'll read about Biden. Uh, but it looks like something stops Biden and it kind of launches her, pushes her forward. Even though um, she's not sure that she's ready, Biden is. Um, it feels like 
um, some sort of sickness that, um, and this may not be long, y'all. This may happen next year or maybe the end of this year because we're, we're already into September and pretty soon October. So we're right there and it does feel close. So, but anyway, I think something about his health and something about an illness that says I need to be at home now, um, taking care of myself instead of, you know, the, the work of the world and all of that on his shoulders. And I think um, he turns it over to her. The problem is, I asked when will we be, there will be a little bit when that happens. But for the most part, y'all, people hate and they're going to hate. There is nothing going to change that. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> You're not going to change them. They hate. So we, you were going to have to wait. And then they're teaching other people to hate. So then once you get out of that, you've got the children they raise, the children their children raise. They raise the same way with the same kind of hate. Yes, it lessens every time. But it's still going to be there. People are just going to hate. That is not going to disappear. So... I'm not really getting something about we're all um, at peace all of a sudden or happy. There is a joyfulness with Kamala, Kamala, that's going for. I I think her name is actually Kamala, but people tell me you should say Kamala. I'm going to say Kamala because I think that's how she says it. So anyway, I think that for that short period of time, people are happy because one, a woman's president, a woman of color, and other nominate, which is great. It's just great. We're all happy about it. But it, it's not going to last because problems keep coming up. And, of course, she's going to be attacked because of her. So I don't see that, but I do see something. So let me now, um, Lordy. Okay, so let me now. What can you tell me about Joe? What can you tell me about President Joe? And what's going on? What's going to happen? What can you tell me? And what's going to happen? Stop and hold his power. Um, but what is it? Yeah, it does stop it. Um, away it's an illness um it's an illness yeah the woman the woman is the key yeah kamala kamala um okay so Trying to figure out when it doesn't feel like very long. Um, it's almost like he comes to the conclusion. Here's what I'm going to say because it's kind of what I'm feeling. It's, it's like this. 
He's president. He's working. He's going along. He starts to struggle. He's tired. Everything is getting a little harder for him. Um, he does have, um, I don't know if he, what, how he gets sick, if it's a cold or a flu. I don't know what it is. But this kind of puts him aware of his age, how much harder it is to get over things. And especially the, the being tired, which is foreign to him. This is like a foreign thing he's just not used to. But that brings him to the point of thinking, okay, I'm not getting any younger. I'm just going to get older and this is just going to get harder. So let me turn it over. And I feel like this happens next year. Sometime next year. So Kamala will basically um, have like a year where she's proved herself. He is going to step down, y'all. He it, Biden is, there is something he, he realizes between that his age is the reason why he can't. It's not just that he's sick with the cold or flu. He's realizing that it's his age and he's only going to get older. So he, he does. He does. But it, it's, um, it kind of leaves us sad, but at the same time, like I said, there's a pickup and excitement. Oh boy, we have, um, there's that. Um, but you know what? He knew. He knew because he knew it was written. This is fabulous too. So, <sighs> Mm. okay so this is joe and see he's shaking hands with a woman he's holding hands with a woman so his mind is about the woman now the six is usually something bad and this is um <clears throat> the house card now as I usually said, the house is your everything. And this is his everything. It's harder for him to work. It's harder for him to concentrate. It's harder for him to think. It's harder for him to do. It's everything. It's harder for him because of, um, well, that's not. Well, it's harder for him because of his age. She he knew because it was written, which is where um, the book comes in. And she's the key. She will be the first, and it's written. The book, it's written. Okay, so that's what's going to happen. Timing, y'all. I know y'all love timing. I, I just, I'm going to say probably in 2022. Now, remember that um, the next election, uh, presidential election, is 2024. That gives her two years. And I think that's what I got, ooh, back before he was even elected. Because what y'all keep forgetting is, I loved Biden. I told y'all, y'all would come to me. But what about his, you know, his dementia and all of this and I said he doesn't have dementia and it's not a problem and you can trust him I have not changed with that but anyway I have always loved Biden always been for Biden always will be he is a good man is he perfect no none of us are I'm not perfect y'all don't expect him to be by the way don't expect her to be because nobody's perfect okay but good and that's, that's the biggest thing right there. So it was written. He knew. And he was glad to be a part of. He would turn it over to our, the first female president of the United States of America. Go, Jeff. All right. <laughs> but 
he doesn't, it's not that he, I think if you really want to know the truth, I think he becomes aware of how hard it is to be president with his age. I'm just being honest. Okay, so now uh, Ron and Matt, let's see, because y'all ask me, are they connected? What's going on? So Ron and Matt, I'm not using last names, that might help. And this is all for entertainment purposes only, and it's just my opinion on my readings and my cards. And by the way, thank you all who realized, yeah, the Nancy Dream was, even the month, I didn't realize that because I said the there was a calendar on the wall and I could see it, and it was the month of September, the year 2021. That's when it came out. I was like, oh my God, because I had forgotten. I had to go back and watch it. <laughs> so the, the little things like that, that really interesting. Anyway, okay, back to Ron and Matt. Are they connected? What is going on? Thank you. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh. to show you this okay <laughs> the men chances three of them get caught doing something bad or wrong with a female this is both this is both both men with the same woman. <laughs> you can't make this up. You can't. Oh my God. Okay. So, um, yeah. Um, are they connected? Yes. Um, it's going to be talked about because it is going to come out. Things are going to spread. Um, it's going to hurt the man who had plans, bigger plans. That's probably Ron. He probably wanted to run for president. Well, he can forget that. Yeah. Um, the other man's loss is going to be, um, a love, wife, um, relationship, some wife, 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 wife. It'll, he's going to lose his wife. Um, it's all over women. Women are right, which the two women are right here. That's what I said. Two men. Two women. Um, there is a connection. Y'all, this is going to be really exciting when this breaks out. I don't have enough here to um, actually get into it, but there is something. There is some sort of connection. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> there is absolutely some sort of connection. We need to wait as it comes out. Okay? All right. So, I want to thank you lovely people. Because <laughs> you are lovely people. Um, I appreciate y'all. Okay? I know sometimes I can get a little frustrated because sometimes... Things hit me. Where is my? Um, oh, I guess I'll have to find it. I don't know what happened to it. Um, sometimes things hit me personal. Like when people started, you know, questioning. I don't mind you questioning Miriam or me for that matter. Because that's a normal thing to do. 
But to start talking about her and saying she's demonic and you're being fooled and you're... Yeah, no, you don't have the right to do that. That is overstepping bounds. To tell me and send me something about a book to read because you didn't understand that these are gypsy witch cards, not Lenormand cards. But they're made by Lenormand. So you're going to send me a Lenormand book because I'm reading them wrong. No, you misunderstand. These are not Lenormand cards. They're gypsy witch cards. See, sometimes things hit me personal. And one of them is the way I read. If you got a problem with the way I read, keep going. Because this is the way I am. It's the way I've done it all my life. It's what I know. It's how I do it. And I'm not going to change. But for those of you who follow me and stick with me, please like, share, subscribe. Until the next time, friends. Thank you.